Holy shit, man. Back from the dead. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, this is going to be <laughs> the third time starting this game all over again. I'm, uh, look, oh, I don't even know what is good in this place. Alright, I'm just going to go land somewhere and then we're going to go figure out where we're going to build from there. Um, so yeah, I played for a little bit on the other server. Like I said, you know, I thought I would, you know, discover the game as we went along with all the, uh, without all the free stuff, but... You have no idea how hard it was not knowing what to build or <laughs> what to do. So I've started the game all over again on another server. And I'm hoping that this drop pod is going to have all the freebies in it. It should because this is the first time I've been on this server. So um, yes, third time lucky guys. Let's see if we can get this one. Yes, and there we go. All the stuff you need to start properly. Alright guys, well I'm going to go fast track up to pretty much where I was in the last video so we can kick off from there and you know, try and discover this game a little bit more in line as to what you guys would if you were to start the game fresh, unlike how I did two times through. Alright guys, let's see how we go. So I'm walking around and it looks like I've encountered a new thing, I don't know. That, yeah, that's chasing me I think. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to... Okay. So, some things are hostile, just to be around. Okay, this server is different already. What's this? Crashed MS Titan back part. That's pretty cool. See, I don't fully understand, um, obviously, neither probably do you if this is the first time you're playing, uh, watching this game sort of thing, but... Um, oh, that's one thing I've learned is to pick up those corn dogs everywhere that you go because they're one of the best sort of starting out foods that you can sort of eat. But um, yeah, all these things in the map, like I'm assuming, like I'm pretty sure those would be other players, like their base and like their little things. But I don't know why they're so prominent on the main map and stuff. But um, like this, is this, um, you know, is that a player built thing or is this just sort of part of the landscape kind of thing because that is pretty damn cool and like if that came from out of there um, like that would have been pretty cool to watch so I don't know if what's that oh that's my stamina Whew. oh shit what okay Yeah, so like this, I don't even know. How was this thing even made? All right, here we go. Okay, so by the looks of it, it doesn't look like, well, it's still even hard to tell in this game because I'm so new to it. I don't understand everything yet, but this looks like it's part of the landscape. It doesn't look as if a player has crashed it unless like the environment reacts to you know out of space freaking accidents that come out of out of the sky and hit the ground and it actually dig into the ground which that would be actually really cool and actually it doesn't surprise me if that is one of the things in this game it would not surprise me because so far this game has you know it's got a lot of good ideas behind it but um yeah if you guys know if this is part of the landscape or not um let me know because i would be interested to know uh, so I can crash my own MS Titan into someone's random planet. Alright, so what... I don't know. This this planet is... um. Okay, this planet is ex hostile from what I've seen. Holy oh, shit, man. Shit. All right, there's one down. What? Damn. You have been bitten on our poison. Use an appropriate remedy. Plant monster. Spoiled food. Alright, so I'm 
poisoned, I guess. Uh, how do I... Effective against poisonous bite. And it's gone. There you go, learning new things all the time. You can get attacked by the freaking flowers. <laughs> Alright, so... Looks like I'm starting to get somewhere now. I've got a motorbike by what looks like it in construction. Um, so we'll see what that actually means. Add fuel pack templates. Um, fuel pack? Is that right? Cool. Place O2 generator, power O2 generator. Do I have an O2 generator? I don't remember seeing one. No, I did not. Okay, so... Um, let's see what this motorbike looks like. How do I do this? Whoa! That is cool. It's not very fast. But nonetheless, that is wicked. That's awesome. Oh shit, oh shit. Everyone's seen Hunger Games. We know what happens if you touch that. Actually, nada. so slow. Can I go faster? <laughs> this is pretty cool though. Oh! What was that? Is that brake or is that... I don't know. Doesn't seem to have any fuel which is pretty cool. Wonder what it runs off. Alright, get a <laughs> better get back to base building before it gets dark. I'm gonna go try and place our first base here. Um, so I've built the base starter kit and this looks relatively flat now. I don't know if it's gonna be like Ark where you know if something's on a ledge and the building's gonna be level but if the ground's not you won't be able to place it because it'll be obstructed or whatever it just won't snap so I don't know how it works in this game but let's hope that we don't have to start again but here goes nothing. While being in a base or cockpit. Okay. What now? Great. Alright, let's figure out what to do next. Alright, so I'm almost out of this hole uh, as you can see it's turned from uh, day into night and I'm stuck in a hole with a torch and no food and I'm quickly running out of food as you can see it's now in yellow and for some reason I'm running out of health as well and I'm now falling down back into the hole that I just spent hours trying to get out of <sighs> not really hours but yeah um, look I don't really <sighs> oh hang on let me not come on daylight yes and then imagine if there was those flower things out here. <laughs> so I don't know how you meant to even get out of that uh, if when you're a high level. Like maybe your jetpack lasts a little bit longer and you can go straight out. Or maybe you just go in there with your uh, vessel. I don't know. But that was kind of difficult. So yeah, something to think about later on I think. But oh cool, I mined 4% of that mine. Alright, well back to base now. Hopefully the sun will come up soon. And uh, we'll actually be able to record something. Okay, so... I don't know why I'm sinking, but I put my helmet on because I don't know why I'm sinking. Why am I sinking? Oh, maybe it's because I have all that ore. Uh, I don't know, but my food's about to run out, and I need to get to my motorbike so I can get back far out. It is hard to move underwater. Maybe it is because I have all that ore. Well, as you see, another thing that I didn't know about the game, but. It almost cost me my life and it still actually may cost me my life. It's depending if we can get to my motorbike and get back in time for dinner. Mama gonna be mad. What the 
hell is that? Oh, perfect. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Oh, man, come on. This is not... Oh, man, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. What? Go, 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 Oh, wow. You have an open wound. Use an appropriate remedy, e.g. medkit. All right. Now shit's real. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. We got to get back in time, otherwise I'm going to die. I'm going to die before I even have my last supper. Let's go, boy. Come on. On your horses. Let's get out of here. Oh, man. My health is like disappearing very very quickly uh, this one yes it is go 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 uh, this one no wrong one uh, med kit uh, yes perfect I think I can spawn on my base from memory uh, cannot spawn Respawn near your death location. Okay, that's... Oh. Except everything I had is now gone. Oh, actually, it'll still be on my body, won't it? If the mechanics are the same as most survivals. You beauty. Sweet. Alright, well now... I don't... Well, that's a good hack. I don't need to eat now. And I don't need to regain my health. Because I died. Um... Okay, well let's reset all this stuff, and uh, now that we know that there are horrors in the night, uh, perhaps we should just stay put until the day comes, so we can actually see what the hell is going on. Uh, yeah, so we'll wait until then. Alright, seems as if I've definitely fallen into a trap this time, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to get out of here, so I think I'm going to stop recording, and this will be the end of the episode uh, for this one, because... I came to this silicon deposit uh, area to try and get some silicon and um, I was deceived by these tiny holes that were in the top as you can see and I was like, ah, oh, it can't be that deep. So um, obviously it was night time as well so I kind of went into it and I fell down to here and I was like, oh, that's not too bad. You know, I've kind of mined along there and then bah, fell down to the bottom. I don't want to even get too close to the edge to show you how deep it actually is but I got down to there. And I was like, looked up, cooked my torch. Ah, oh, shit. That is a lot higher than I thought. Now, it's taken me a while just to even get up to this little ledge thing. And now, I don't know if people do this so they can get out. Maybe that's just a unwritten rule of this game is that they leave a little ledge in the mine so that people can get out if they get stuck. But now that I'm here, I can't even get out that hole. So, I'm going to give it a couple more... Oh, see? My jetpack just runs out so quick. Um, alright, let's try to get it, I don't want to fall back down, down into the main one. Um, so this is obviously a lot harder as well because it's night time and I can't see if there's a better way to get out. I don't think there is. Um, to me this looks like the closest, uh, opportunity. Look, I'm just gonna, oh, again, come on. I feel like I'm Batman trapped in the <laughs> trapped in the the well, the hole that Bane put him in. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so it looks like I'm just gonna have to sit in this hole and just oh shit! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay, what about does that look flat? If I jump to that. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm going for it. Jesus. Jesus. Wait. Okay, that's this is the end. Into the lava. Alright. Is that even lava? No. It's probably the core of the earth, that's how deep we are. Radio, so Fantastic. Fan bloody tastic. Um Okay. So I don't know if you guys are watching this and you're screaming in the screen because you know that there's an easier way to get out of here, but... Um, oh, what's this? Maybe... Maybe. Oh. Thanks, guys. Thanks very much for your help. 
Yep, I heard you. That's right, I heard you screaming at your screen and that saliva hitting the, the monitor. You saved my life. Thank you very much. Cool. Thanks, guys. So, just as you can have a quick look, this is what it looks like from the surface. Well, I think I got deceived by these two little holes. I was like, oh, yeah, that's... Uh, no worries, I'll be able to get out of those. No dramas, that's only knee height, mate. Too easy. Came along to these ones, and I think I dropped down this second one, to be honest, because I looked at one of them. Yeah, that's right. I looked at this with my torch, and I was like, oh, that's not that deep. Or was it this one? Oh, shh. All right, let's not get too close to this thing again. That's the planets I was talking about. Uh, well, not the planets, but I think, I'm pretty sure you can fly literally line of sight to them. You can just get in your spacecraft and go, like, straight to them. So that is pretty cool. Con uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can. Um, yeah, very deceiving. So what, oh my god. So yeah, watch out for these holes, guys, when you play these games. Uh, let me know if you've ever got trapped in a mine and had to start your game all over again. <laughs> That'd be, that would be pretty crap. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode.